was or what a crypto muscle. I'm going to do another YouTube video. So here we are, international now, worldwide syndicate is words at crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network. Coming to you with another video. And so it's Sunday, and I always talk about on Sundays, Pulse Chain. And I thought my conversation and my talk would end once the thing launched, right? Pulse Chain. And man, it's just, it's just more fuel and ammo and heat to the fire that's been going on lately with uh, everything about this particular world of rich art, Hex, Pulse Chain, Zen, all garbage, right? Uh, oh, sorry to be so frank about it, but um, it is. <laughs> all right, and it's not really what it's cracked up to be, right? Come on, people, right, right? <laughs> so, just saying, all right? So, um, what is going on with everything right now in this world the heart world right dick heart all right and so uh he slayed it all right dick heart slayed it slayed you guys with that swung it that sword wham got you guys so uh here's hex right this useless coin now uh token coin whatever it's useless and the fun fact is that Rich Art owns 90% of it that continues to dump on you guys every day. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty funny, to say the least. Oh, yeah, but I can't be rude. This is where you find place, you know, news and information like this, right? The Crypto Muscle Network and the Crypto Muscle Legacy Channels, right? These are the places where you can find this sort of information, real news real information real heat sometimes that i could bring because of my uh opinions and point of view which to me is common sense point of view but man people take it to heart you know when their butts hurt and stuff you know but anyhow subscribe to everything i got I got my telegram group as well subscribe to everything i got if you want expanded opinion and content check out my podcast so we got everything going on here let's take a look at hex this thing has been dumping on, dumping on, dumping on ever since uh, Pulse Chain came out May 14th, right? And, uh, I mean, when you look at the price now, <laughs> wow, look at that. Man, big decline, right? I mean, 1.3 cents, going to fall under a penny real soon. Crazy how that is, right? Uh, let's see, last week, it was at, well, the same price, 1.3 cents. It's, it's in that same area. Right, it's up for the week, but it's still in that same area. But if you look at the past month, right? This is the turning point when just before uh, Hex came out, it was at six cents. Oh, no, Hex Pulse Chain came out, it was at six cents, right? Just before it came out, five cents, six cents, right there was the time. And uh, after that, there it is, three cents, even three cents, because it's. it's you know, 1.5 less of that now, as it's down to, you know, 1.3. So you can see it's down for the past month, 78% for the past month. All right, because it was riding six for, six cents for a while, and then mid mid month, when Pulse Chain came out, that's where it is. The dumping has happened. So. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead and uh, ladder stake and do all that stuff for like 15 years. And I know some people said that they've, they're bringing wealth to their grandchildren down the road and all that by ladder staking this and all the bullshit they say they're going to do with it. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead because this this shit's worthless. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, it'll never reach 50 cents again. There's no reason to. It's a useless coin now there's no token coin whatever it's useless because everything is moving on now a step ahead into pulse chain right because that was the whole purpose of this was to kind of parlay and and kind of rocket fuel pulse chain which it did right everything that richard hart intended to do happened he intended to Hype the community about this token in order to bring efforts and a bigger cause to Pulse Chain. And then it happened, right? It took a long time, two years, right? 
but it happened. And it's funny though. That, the only thing that still bothers me on this is that what really bothers me is how he spent so much time on the Binance Smart Chain side of things to develop it and all that stuff, especially with the concept. And we all know the idea was to get off the Ethereum network because of the high network fees, you know, the gas, you know, the gas fees and such. And that was the whole idea, the original, original concept that is, I don't know, for some reason forgotten, it seems like. And that's the, the, the reason <laughs> that for some reason you guys don't get in your heads that is to get off the Ethereum network, to find an alternative. And it was claimed that Pulse Chain is going to be even faster, even better version of Binance Smart Chain. That was the claim, right? But yet, after all this time and development, which really led to nothing except just kind of false starts and 222 and all that other stuff that just, that's gone on in the last two years, to only go back and fork Ethereum network. And look how quickly that happened. You abandoned this development for the last two, you know, year and a half, whatever, two years nearly. And... Oh man, I mean, it was it was so fast how quickly it came out the Ethereum fork. I mean, it was you know, I was skeptical because when I looked at it, I was just like, okay, so what? It's going to be another year or two years before this thing comes out and then well, I mean, a matter of what, multiple weeks, you know, not necessarily multiple months and it came out so quick, you know, to bring Pulse Chain on. I mean, I was just like surprised. I was very surprised. I think a lot of people were surprised. And, you know, it's just um, disappointing because you could look, look at it like this, all right? Um, one, it's not the alternative. It is an alternative, but it's not really the alternative to Ethereum because people are still experiencing <laughs> high gas fees, right? That's the thing right now. High gas fees still. And people are experiencing congestion um, and things like that. That stuff that you were trying to get away from in the first place. That was a disappointment. All right. And it's only 17% faster than Ethereum. Wow. I mean, that's very disappointing, right? And um, on top of that, the disappointment also was how quickly it came out. All right. And you can look at it on that part too. Is that it came out too quick that they sh they didn't set themselves up in a better place to anticipate all the you know problems that they're having right now. Uh, people might call it minor problems. That's fine. Whatever. Right. That's one. Two. To um, you know, so you have that right. The anticipation problems. Uh, and then two. How quickly it came out. Now imagine if this was the original concept. To be bigger, faster uh, than Ethereum, so we're going to fork Ethereum in the first place. All right, let's just go back a couple years ago now, two years ago, and you said we're going to fork Ethereum. We're going to be better. We're going to bring the gas fees down. We're going to do this, this, and this, 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 right? And then imagine launching that thing in a matter of months, or even at PulseCon, then do it, then go about it that way. Oh man, to launch this on PulseCon last year, even though it's been, you know, time down the road still, but that would have been a great launch pad to the world. All right, even just, how about even showing up at PulseCon to launch Pulse Chain? Oh my God, you know what would have happened? This thing would have skyrocketed beyond space and the Milky Way and all that stuff. But no. Alright, that's where the ball dropped. Multiple times. <laughs> over and over and over again. I mean, you probably had talking heads. That came in. And said, hey man. What's up with this thing? Oh no, no. We're, we're working on it, right? Every time. Richard just sloughed it off. Or he go spent, you know, the all that crypto. On buying all kinds of weird, goofy stuff. And um, to only... 
go back to Ethereum and then throw this out there so quickly. It's crazy how that is, huh? And such disappointing news and all that. So the dramatic fall was the critics right the whole time. There is an example of many articles that are out there, right? Uh, yeah, for example, Richard Hart owns 90% of the hex supply. So he could just dump and dump and dump and dump. Right, so uh, they, they think that um, this Pulse chain is the newest heart scam um, since it's believed that he sold a large portion of his hex for the sister layer one network Pulse chain. Um, well, <laughs> price is down to a penny. Could be the case. Uh, but yeah, this is an interesting article. Hex was up to 50 some cents and uh, 97% lower than its all time high now. <laughs> And it's just uh, funny how that is. And you guys are getting dumped on and on and on and on. It's just funny. It's just so funny. I just laugh at you guys for that. And so, uh, but on the positive side of things, there are uh, projects launching off of Pulse Chain. That's cool, I guess. But, I mean, is it really that much better? Uh, kind of? That's the only thing about it, you know. It's just... Why on the Ethereum network? I mean, to this day, I'm going to keep questioning that because, you know, everybody knows that the Binance Smart Chain is way better. All right. Still, it's probably still way faster than Pulse Chain as well. That's the disappointing thing about it. And so, let's see, some of the PLS burn stats here. It's still one and a half times uh, greater in terms of value over sacrifice prices. Currently down 1.6% over the last 24 hours. You can see all the other Pulse X here, Incentive and Hex. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny though. Shit, this is not even right on with the Hex because Hex, or is it? Let's see, 1.8 cents. Take a look at what Hex is right now. That's yeah, 1.35, so that's where it's at right now. But yeah, so, you know, and of course, with all that, it's just, oh, this guy is delusional, right? X to $100. <laughs> all right, it's so, uh, X to 100 <laughs> lower than pond scum, yeah. X, as soon as I heard BitBoy had this in his portfolio, I made a video on it instantly, and I knew this was trash. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Richard Hart will soon fly to jail. Mark my word. Ooh, man, bold words. For anyone who is interested, here's my take. Hex utility is a store of value. If you don't think store of value is a use case, then what are savings for? Uh, well, I mean, this is speaking on your, uh, store of value here, right? And that is, uh, people don't give a shit. <laughs> All right. Because if people did give a shit, if people wanted this as store of value, then um, this price would be higher right now. But people are dumping the shit out of it. That's why it's down. Especially in this past month, down 78% in this past month. So people are dumping the shit out of it. <laughs> so to me, don't speak on this store of value when people don't give a shit <laughs> because people are dumping it. If people, if people cared and thought this is a store of value, they would be keeping it. No, people are dumping it because it's useless. There's no use of this whatsoever anymore. For what? All right, there's nothing. Now, if you're telling me, for example, oh, well, uh, Pulse Chain uses Hex for uh, gas or something, right? Uh, to whatever, rocket a project. Okay, now we're on some. But no, I, I don't even think they're going to go that far with Hex. I think Hex is a dead coin. And it's just going to get kicked to the curb pretty soon, right? When Richard Hart dumps it all, then you guys will realize, and I'm just going to laugh at you guys, as I always do, and say, I told you so. So, just funny how it is, but that's your latest news. And, you know, I'll, I'll give a little shout out to Richard Hart as well, because he did tweet out there that Tom Wallet has been hacked, looking out for uh, people, right? So, I'll give him that. Other than that, this shit's dead. Pulse Chain is disappointing, and that's your latest news. Comment down below. I'll see you next one.